Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to talk in a little bit more detail about the intellectual foundations of librarianship. Uh, we've talked in, in previous videos about the canonical um, activities of the different cultural heritage institutions, libraries, museums, and archives, uh, and briefly that the, the roles of the curators or the, the professionals involved in those institutions revolve around the objects uh, of their attention. Uh, and today we're going to go into a little bit more detail uh, on the role of librarians and uh, the concept of librarianship, uh, primarily as developed by Jesse Shera. Now, you probably should know a lot more about Jesse Scherer than we're going to talk about briefly here, uh, but you should know that he is known primarily for his work in bringing technology to libraries and librarianship. We, we can probably lay interlibrary loan at his feet uh, a number of different technological uh, approaches that librarians now kind of take for granted he introduced, but he's also known uh, for writing extensively on the history uh, foundations and principles of modern librarianship. Uh, and in fact, he was among the first to coin the term social epistemology. Epistemology is the study of how we know what we know, I, I guess you might say. Social epistemology, um, he described as the study of knowledge in society, uh, the focus of which was the production, flow, integration, and consumption of all forms of communicated thought through the entire social fabric. Uh, if you're interested, there's a, a link to the um, uh, Stanford um, Dictionary of Philosophy philosophy, encyclopedia of philosophy that uh, goes into a little bit more detail. Uh, but Jesse Shara is, is the one who, who really laid the intellectual foundation for the profession of librarianship and positioned the librarian as mediator between knowledge, uh, its users, and its uses. Uh, there's a uh, biography of Jesse uh, Shara listed down below. Uh, if you're interested in further study, reading more about him, he's an interesting individual, so I'd encourage you to, to look further there, uh, although this isn't a, a particular assignment for this unit. So what are some ideas from Jesse Shera? Well, Jesse Shera really provided the intellectual basis for librarianship as a discipline. Um, he positioned recorded knowledge as fixation of thought. Uh, he said that each society creates its recorded knowledge within the context of that society. So what society records is what society is about. That is, uh, it stores, creates, um, recollects the knowledge uh, that is important to the society and that it changes from society to society. And so there are a lot of characteristics that uh, govern what uh, we record, what we save. Um, here, here are just a few by way of example, certainly not um, an all-inclusive list. Um, language, uh, the medium on which it's recorded, is it paper, is it clay tablets, is it recorded in a, in a vinyl LP, um, how is it recorded, what kinds of tools are used, uh, what the content is, what is recorded, what do we care about, why do we care about it. Uh, who uses it? In what way do they use it? How do we organize it? How do we store it? How do we preserve it? Uh, and then there are the mediators, after we look at all those things, who work with recorded knowledge um, and, and act as an intermediary between the recorded knowledge uh, and the users uh, and society. So Jesse Shura positions the librarian as a mediator, a person who functioned as a mediator between the physical recorded knowledge and its use. Uh, and that was, uh, in his view, uh, a librarian. This is a conceptual definition. It's not based on any particular type of organization. So don't think of librarian as working in what we think of today as a library, because there are many different kinds of organizations where we have intermediation between recorded knowledge and use. Not based on credentials, not based on specific practices. The specific practices, as we just mentioned, vary from society to society. Not even based on one profession. So really, the librarian as mediator is a function. Uh, it's the function of mediation between recorded knowledge and society. Uh, now, Jesse Shera thought that, uh, as we've mentioned, that society, the shape of society, um, is what determines the information that we keep and how we mediate and how we use it. So if we think, for example, of where we are today and, and how things have changed over, say, the past century or so, late 19th century through uh, at least the 1980s, uh, if you think of some general trends, 
Um, here are a few. You can probably think of a lot of others, but we have, certainly have a rise of higher education from the late 19th century. Very, very few people uh, as a percentage went through higher education uh, in the United States. Now uh, it's much more common, and, and by higher education we mean at this point even, even high school. Uh, we have the whole idea of immigration, our melting pot uh, idea of, of uh, uh, days past and now our focus on cultural diversity. Uh, we have government supported and mandated K through 8 education. This was new to the 20th century. We have the rise of professions um, uh, as opposed to trades. So in the 19th century, we had a lot of tradesmen, but with the 20th century, with education, with college, with, with different kinds of professions, uh, we have the rise of the professional individual. If you think just in terms of, of books and production of knowledge, um, you know, we, we went from hardcover to uh, mass paperbacks to trade paperbacks. This greatly expanded um, the ability of the public to get and find reading material. Uh, we have therefore a rise of social status of books uh, really in the in the late 20s 30s uh, the reading clubs that, that arose even even to the extent of, of new houses were built with built-in bookcases so uh, this represented a, a rise in the social status of books uh, we have a lot of other cultural um, uh, activities going on changes in culture um, we've had the dominance of mainstream white culture that um, uh, uh, was challenged by the Civil Rights Rebellions and increased awareness of non-dominant cultures, uh, perhaps a weakening of religion as a universal moral standard. These are all kind of trends that we have seen through uh, the 19th century through the 1980s. So if we then take a look at the landscape of American librarianship, how can we map that um, to the changes that we've seen in culture? Uh, so following Shera's traditional um, conception, uh, that societies um, uh, reflect uh, their, their culture and their traditions in their recorded knowledge. Uh, what do we have? Well, we have a rise of libraries. We have a rise of library education and credentials. We have a rise of a structure for the profession of librarianship. Uh, we have a rise of specific practices. How do we catalog? How do we classify? How do we shelve? Uh, and so um, our, our current library systems today, and there are many different kinds of library systems, uh, reflect um, and shape the role of the mediator, the librarian, uh, and condition uh, the meaning of librarians as mediators. So just to kind of sum up a definitional structure and to, to wrap up what it is that we talk about when we talk about librarians and libraries, um, Shara's intellectual foundation of librarianship as a role uh, and activity of mediation. Uh, we start with recorded knowledge, which is knowledge in written form on some kind of medium and some kind of symbol system. We have users uh, of that information. We have different kinds of uses of that information. The librarian is the individual who mediates between recorded knowledge and users and uses. And a library is really any collection of recorded knowledge. Now, Jesse Shera's point is that there are society-specific versions of these, and we can track uh, the role of mediation, the different kinds of mediation, how mediation changes across societies and across times. These are different for each society. Uh, and so we have to be very careful that we don't make the anachronistic assumption that our understanding of these principles from what we see as libraries today uh, necessarily extends to other societies, uh, to other periods of time, uh, and so on. We, we fall into this trap if we're not careful. Uh, and so as we go through the semester, as we look at different kinds of libraries, uh, different kinds of mediation, different kinds of recorded knowledge, uh, we want to be aware that we, we need to focus on not so much the institution of the library, what we see as a library today, what we think a librarian today is, but really focus on Shara's intellectual foundation of librarianship, which positions the librarian as an individual who mediates between recorded knowledge and users uh, and their uses. Thank you.